the show technique is Dr. Straley's how technique. It's an epigenetic healing method. It's a revolutionary new way of communicating with the body's biofield and modulating its function. One has to realize that life is conducted at the cellular level. We are made up of 100 trillion cells, independent living cells that are working together to make us live. In the nucleus of each of these cells is our DNA. The DNA has the information on how to conduct life at the biochemical level, how to produce hormones, how to produce neurotransmitters, how to produce immune factors. So the Chinese, some thousands of years ago, uh, they came up with this system of meridians. And uh, they say within those meridians uh, flows energy. They call it qi energy. We call it life energy. Different cultures call it different things. Uh, so to me, this ancient principle, which is still valid today, uh, that's why acupuncture is uh, so popular, uh, is, is it's, the, it's the internet of the body. So that means that we are working at the epigenetic level. So the DNA is in the nucleus of the cell. The environment controls the expression of that DNA. Uh, however, <clears throat> it just happens, it's just a fact of life that your average person has about 100,000 mutations in that code of life, in that DNA. What my show technique does is harmonize mutations and uh, improve function at the epigenetic level, cellular function that is. Have you ever noticed that, you know, certain people do just fine with, a, for example, a pharmaceutical prescription and while others have terrible side effects? Well, uh, that is because their detox mechanisms are not, uh, are genetically determined by the genetic makeup and they are different from person to person. And uh, so what we can do is pick up on these uh, differences and actually harmonize them or improve them functionally. Uh, for in, in a detox pathway, there is many different enzymes. Each enzyme is encoded by a gene, and uh, if the enzymes that are necessary to break down these toxins, for example, pharmaceuticals, of course, sulfites and nitrates and uh, and things of that nature, they have to be broken down by those enzymes. And uh, if, if they don't show up, there is inflammatory issues. Uh, the same is true for the methylation cycle, so the MTHFR mutation is famous these days, uh, it has to do with methylation of folate. Uh, I have seen in my clinic with this technique uh, great improvements in the function of that gene by applying this, this, this method. First, uh, we, we need to collect this information uh, from, from the body and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the head harness that has eight channels uh, onto this person and uh, we're gonna run uh, I'm gonna run a 2000 item um, database and see what comes up. We will analyze the results which are going which the software will post by its degree of imbalance. So here we have our results from the scan and uh, there is bacteria, virus, parasite, bacteria, parasite, bacteria, bacteria. So we'll focus on this particular treatment on bacteria. We are now in the treatment phase of a treatment, uh, of, of a session. And um, uh, the feedback is going on. Uh, we're cycling through these items that we put into the, um, the, the, the software. Uh, it's going through his uh, energy field and through the meridians. And so now uh, we, we go through some procedures uh, helping the body to take on and integrate this information in its own cellular communication system. The Hua Tuo points are special acupuncture points which run alongside the spine and bladder meridians. They are helpful in facilitating to integrate the biofeedback information into the individual's cellular communication system. We can now analyze the epigenetic communications at the cellular level and uh, uh, look for these epigenetic quirks which cause food allergies, inflammation in general, uh, weaken the immune system uh, and 
through quantum biofeedback methods, we can specifically harmonize uh, some of these en uh, enzymatic uh, processes and improve uh, function in general. My show technique shows how to successfully implement this method clinically uh, through biofeedback.